Pride, let freedom ring. So why not honor those who have died fighting for our freedom? James Myers in Yuba City tonight, where an outdoor memorial remembers our American heroes. Four hundred and thirty-two new names have been added to the wall since last year, bringing the total to six thousand four hundred and thirteen. Dozens of people attended the ceremony to pay their respects. When this many people come together to say thank you to veterans, thank you to our military, that is just contagious. And now it's become an annual pilgrimage for so many people. Something more than just singing a song or waving a flag, something that tells them we understand their sacrifices, we appreciate the sacrifices they have made, because every single one of them has sacrificed something. And some of them have given everything. And that's what Memorial Day weekend is about. I just, I just recently put five names on there that of guys that, that I serve with that uh, w w while during my tour uh, they were still alive, but the second tour uh, they were not so fortunate. The most recent addition to the memorial is 82nd Airborne Paratrooper Chase Marta of Yuba City. He was killed in Afghanistan on May 7th in the line of duty. It's a turning point in our lives. Uh, it's uh, it's a gratitude. It's a, it's a graciousness. Uh, it's it, it, it makes me want to put a uniform back on again and go over there, even with my injuries. You know, just being able to wing myself back up and say, you know what, for one day I could fight again. Mm. Closing ceremonies are on Memorial Day at 3 p.m. You